When I say pussy, you say power. Pussy! 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 I can't hear you! Power! Pussy! Power! That escalated pretty quick. I mean, don't come no Christian telling me that we came out of your rib. You came out of our vaginas. I recently had a baby and uh, my vagina turned into a museum. And everybody had to look through my birth canal. Oh my God. And my cervix uh, was the size of a grape, but it, it had to be the size of a coconut. So I was in bad shape. So I was like, give me the drugs. <laughs> and I was like, epidural, por favor. I want a painless birth. And then they said, you have to walk. You know, you have to walk so that the baby's head would come lower or something. And I said, lady, the only way where I want to walk is to the past when I was still a virgin. <laughs> give me back my virginity. Take this baby out of me. Because you're pretty much turning to Linda Blair from The Exorcist and it's something like... <laughs> Don't talk to me! I'm not your friend! I'm trying to deliver a human being! thing that ever happened to me because you pretty much poop in front of everybody. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so it's a shit show. <laughs> and then somebody's like, you gotta push, you gotta push. And I'm like, okay. And then she says, you gotta take a deep breath. And I was like, <gasps> Nothing happened. 10 hours later, I'm still pushing. Baby's not there. Oh my God, I'm not in the Blair, I'm the devil. I'm here to take your soul. Shit, and then somebody says, we see the head, we see the head, we see the head. And I'm like, yeah. And, and I, I was thinking, oh my God, that's gonna rip me. That's gonna rip me. I was like, that, is that the shoulders? I think that's the nose. What the hell is that? <laughs> we see the head and you're so excited. Okay, okay, you gotta push, you gotta push, 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 and whoosh. Your baby shoots out like a dart. Whoops, there goes another fart. <laughs> and you poop some oh. more. So that's when you know you're in a serious relationship, when you can talk and, and fart in front of each other, like with no problem. <laughs> because you need a man that can't take shit. <laughs> I tell you, because the nine months are shit for you, it's gonna be shit for him too. <laughs> um, like, we should all have the best life that we can possibly have. And what I'm here to tell you is that you need to go out there and get it. Woo. Yeah, Woo. Right. <laughs> that was shit. Um, I was supposed to show you my belly. <laughs> I have these stretch marks from the baby and stuff. They're beautiful. Which I'm very proud of. But shit is going down. And I mean, shit is like up to here, maybe here. And we ain't got no toilet paper. And that is, that is, the, that is the thing of nightmares. If you ever happen to have diarrhea and there is no freaking toilet paper, then you know how much you're worth. And you go reach with your hand to get the toilet paper. Nada. Nothing. 
And then I was like, I invited my mom here for the birth of my child. And see how the situation is so bad in Venezuela. It's gotten so bad in the last two years. Then my mom came to my apartment and she saw six rolls of toilet paper stacked on top of each other. She walks outside. She looks at me serious. You're rich. <laughs> me, huh? You made it big. Six rolls of toilet paper. Come on. And the double toilet paper song. Then you know you got some money there. Oh my God. I love Venezuela. I must say, I love going there. But every time I go there, I, I, I get diarrhea. And not just diarrhea, I get a DME, massive diarrhea explosion. <laughs> so I was thinking, uh, okay, I go to the toilet, cramps and stuff, and then I go reach for the toilet paper, I go toilet paper. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna have to sacrifice my sock. <laughs> What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Because of course in the tropics and you're wearing flip-flops. <laughs> My socks are not gonna help me in this situation, so I must think of something else. Okay, maybe if I use my underwear, it has more surface area, so I can really wipe it, you know, squeaky clean, because I got a big butt. <laughs> but I was going commando! And for those who don't know, commandos when you don't wear any underwear. Some people do that. <laughs> and um, so I had to, I had to open up to the person in the bathroom next to me <laughs> and lose all decency and self-respect. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having MD. Can you please help me? So we're in Venezuela. There's no toilet paper. <laughs> so my family in Venezuela, my, my, one of my cousins, uh, my aunt actually, she married The Undertaker. And they do, they have a funerary, and they have a cemetery and stuff. So when we went to that house, it was very scary because, you know, they prepared the bodies next to it. So we knew, and it was very, very scary. <clears throat> the Undertaker. I don't know where I'm going with this joke, but. <laughs> yeah. I know that uh, Venezuela is the myrtle capital of the world. And when we say hello to each other, this is how ghetto we really are. We go, plop, 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 plop! <laughs> plop, plop, plop! You know, and it's good when your family has a funerary because every time a person dies, ka-ching! <laughs> okay, baby, this is my set. Thank you so much.